This is an incredibly impromptu video because I just received this box in the mail and I wanted to open it up on camera. Been waiting for this for quite some time, but I'm confident that the wort or the weight is worth it. This is a very heavy box. It's a very large box. It's a little bit difficult to translate how large it is, except for maybe putting two hands here. And uh, yeah, I don't know if that helps or not. So let's just get to it. We're going to cut away some of this tape. I have heard that it is extremely well packaged and I'm probably on the wrong side so we'll have to see in just a minute okay so layer one cut open let's do this without bumping camera related stuff hey look the inner box okay so now let's see if I can get the inner box out there Get that one tossed away. Now I believe the correct side is actually facing up. It's still pretty heavy. That's about how thick it is. And yeah, it's still, still really heavy. So we're gonna cut this open. And by the way, I know what this is. This is the art of G.I. Joe by 3D Joe's Carson. Let's see if this is the correct way. Gonna take a peek. Oh, I believe this is the correct way. So we're gonna flip this open here. And the big reveal, which I'm sure none of you have seen on some other channel, probably. This is just one of many that will be doing an unboxing, I'm sure. But here is, as I get this taken off, the omnibus hardcover of The Art of G.I. Joe. And that's amazing. That's just, I, you know, you don't really know what to expect until you see something. Look at this, it's really nicely packed. It's got some nice foam corners. And you know what, pulling it out does not make it any lighter. It's still really heavy. So we're gonna take this box away. Set it off to the side. Whoo, yeah, this is a heavy thing, let's see. So it's all nice and shrink wrapped. So I'm gonna gently find a way to open this thing up without cutting into it. And I think I did it. Pull this stuff off here. So if I understand it correctly, this is just like a case. And the book is actually inside the case. We'll see if I'm correct. Oh yeah, okay. So then from the right flap over here, it opens up, feels like there's a magnets involved along here. Opening it up gets to the real, the real, wow, that's quite big. So cool, that's, uh, you got the people who are working, who have worked on this book right here and some fake file cards up in this section. You've got over here, if I understand it right, this is the artwork that yeah these nice printed photographs little posters of sorts of certain package art i'm just kind of taking it in as i go that's really cool we got blowtorch scrap iron spirit and some other cool stuff this is from i remember a puzzle and a catalog a yearly catalog with that art. Yeah, that stuff is really cool. What's on the back? Just white. Oh, it even says right down here. Actually, I just noticed it. So 1988 Fool's Gold book cover. This was one of their novel, mini kid novels. So anyway, there's a lot of stuff in there. I kind of want to just keep looking at it here. I remember doing this as a puzzle. G.I. Joe General has a big vehicle. We have a cesspool here. Not a cesspool, but we have cesspool. And unproduced sea set. It's like the Piranha and the Barracuda in the original lives. Nice. So I'm just going to unceremoniously just toss this stuff right back in there. Yeah, a lot of really cool art. You could probably frame this stuff if you wanted to and decorate your Joe room or whatever room as a nice one. That's a pretty cool one. 
Ooh, this is iconic right here. Sorry about my light shine and stuff. That's pretty iconic. There's a snake eyes. It almost looks like it's off center just a little bit. Destro. The Baroness. And we've got uh, Water Moccasin. A few of Cobra Baddies. We've got the Whale. Storm Shadow. And another G.I. Joe catalog cover. That's cool. And, well, we got two Snake Eyes. Wow, a lot of Snake Eyes in this one. Too bad we didn't get uh, something else. Viper. And uh, that's it. So, yeah, some really cool just art. See, that's what this is all about. This is just about the art. And G.I. Joe had a lot of really cool art. They had some really good artists working on this line. And I would have to say, I mean, a lot of toy lines from the 80s had some pretty good art. But I'm biased, you know. G.I. Joe had really, really good art. Boy, oh boy. Let's set this off to the side. <laughs> I'm not sure how this is going to work. I'm not quite... Oh, heh. So we've got a red, white, and blue. Either pull, book pull or bookmark. I'm not sure, but I can pull it and it seems to lift it out. Thought of everything, huh? Oh yeah, so look. There's even more people with their that have worked on G.I. Joe. These look like the actual Hasbro employees representations. Well, these are actually a mixture of people who worked on G.I. Joe and the guys who worked on the book. So I'm going to set this off to the side. And <sighs> three fingers deep. <laughs> That's a really big book. You got the slip cover here. You've got the, the spine there and the back cover here. Now, this is supposed to have pretty much every bit of G.I. Joe art that they have been able to scrounge up over the years. Flip this, ba flip this back. It's got the same art on the inside and on the actual cover as well. Here's a lot of, if you couldn't tell, childhood photos from a lot of G.I. Joe collectors. There was a call for that to submit your your childhood pictures of G.I. Joe, and that's really cool. Nice little memories for some people. The Art of G.I. Joe from 3djoes.com. And we get right into it. There's some art. This is a Kirk Bazigian forward, it looks like. This is my first time looking at it. As you could tell, I opened it up. So 1982 figures. So what I really like about this is that it has full package. Now, this is, from what I understand, this is the full-size card right here. So if you're looking at this figure on pa or on card in the store, this is its size. This is like everything here. And I like how we've got the file card below it, so we don't have to see the back. I'm really disappointed we don't get to see the back as well. But, you know, you, you, you get some, you lose some. So at least we get the file card, and I think that's pretty cool, because this is essentially a file card repository then as well. And you just flip through, and just look at G.I. Joe. Just look at it. Now here's the back, and so it looks like we're seeing a little bit of maybe package variation, so it's, I think there's some articles throughout here as well. So yeah, creating Cobra, collecting the art. Then we have... Some nice, just the art, not even on the package, but the actual art. That's really cool. This looks like some sort of a spread page. So yeah, this flips open. Artist profile. Ron Rudet, Operation Outer Space. Oh, this opens up as well. Oh yeah, look at that. So this adds a bunch to it. I'm definitely going to have to take some time to read through this. Got some art. I mean, just look at this stuff. This is really cool to see this old art. 1982 vehicles. So then we get the vehicle boxes, which, by the way, probably won't be life-size. Because there's going to be things like the flag and the Defiant, which can't be life-size. I'm not going to flip through the whole book, but I just want to get give you a sense of what this book is about. I believe there are st some still available if you go to 3djoes.com. So you get the front from some fronts. Get the back, well, in the sense there's a file card for the back of the, the howl. 
So you just get to see what those packages. Now, these are scanned in actual pieces and they've been cleaned up. So like, you know, there may be in, may have been some damage or some fading. This has all been nicely cleaned up and, and restored and it looks really good. Just looks really good. You know, a trip back through memory lane, so to speak. Now, I like this. I like this massively huge art. It's just like, you get to really look at the details. It almost looks like Legos. <laughs> but the details here, I think, are really cool. But as I said, I think you can still get this uh, from 3djoes.com. There was a Blu-ray set that you can also get. I don't remember if I backed. This was a Kickstarter that I backed. And so... There's some more artist profiles. Wow, look at this. This is some nice stuff here. Is this is uh, Ed Morrill. So this might be some of his stuff too, maybe. Like I said, I haven't really. Hector Garrido. That may be his work on these books. And that's why they're included. Just to see some sampling. Ooh, look, Dress Blues Gung Ho right there. I could just, I could actually go through a whole video. Down here on the side, you can see 1982 to 1995. And so that's where they quit. This is the original 80s, early 90s line from 82 to 95. They don't get into the 90, I don't believe they get to the 97, 98 stuff. They don't get to the 2000s plus. This is all the old original stuff. It'd be really cool if we had maybe a small book that covered some of the 2000s stuff because it might not be nearly as detailed or as awesome, but there's still a lot of cool stuff from G.I. Joe in the later years. So just kind of flipping through now, I'll just kind of jump ahead. You got the, the APC over here, the Fang, the Cobra Hiss. There's some train stuff, another fold-out. More than comics, you have G.I. Joe, the NES. Oh, this is the Atari 2600 game. Just flipping through Castle of Doom. Kid stuff records and tapes. There's just so much stuff, and there's probably, I guarantee you, Unless you're part of this project, there's going to be art and things in here you didn't know existed and would be really cool. Firefly, Recondo, Ripcord, Roadblock. Let's flip forward. The Vamp Mark II. Got some records, it looks like here. Listen and look. There's Shipwreck, representing 85. Alpine. Licensing Guide, Collecting Unadorned Arts. So there's some more information about it. Barbecue Bazooka. SMS, right? Yeah, SMS there. The Cobra More. Tactical Battle Platform. Bridge Layer. International Licensing Guide. Ooh, look at that. You even, you even get some of the catalogs. Uh, things that you could order that came in vehicles or figures. This is just really cool. This is actually really pretty amazing. You know, the, the amount of work, the undertaking. This is amazing. VHS covers. Oh, it's not. Oh, the action stars, the serial. That's disappointing. I wonder if this is the actual art or if some of it was cut off. Maybe this was the actual art of the VHS tapes. Flipping forward, you got the. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's nice unadorned art of the conquest. Now that's a that's a double folded piece right there. Live the adventure. We're already up to like page 200, I think I saw. Where was that? There's a page number I just saw a minute ago. Let's see. Well, I saw it. I don't see it now, but I saw it. Wow, look at that. Saber jet package. Art unreleased. Artist unknown. Oh, that's in, hum in, in humanoid stuff over there. Cartoon screenshots from the humanoids. Techno Viper. So here's our bookmark. There's a bookmark as well in here. Hey, is this the Pythona character? Let's see. Ron Rudette brought a Scarlet 82, Covergirl in 83, Baroness in 84, Lady Jane 85, Zoran in 86, and nearly brought us Pythona in 87. So this must be Pythona mock-ups. Oh yeah, shows the two-page spread shows Pythona concepts in 85. Unfortunately, female figures do not sell well. And so, apparently, we didn't get her. Some of these are actually really pretty cool. So, I don't want to show everything. I'm just flipping through so you can get the idea of what this is like. The Return of Earl Norm. 
interlude introduce the next generation of gi joe designers so this must be the transition between one group uh to the next got some night force stuff i definitely don't want to take away and flip through everything but i want to give you a good idea of what's in this book because i think it's absolutely worth it i think you would be missing out if you're interested in gi joe at this level which i absolutely am hit and run oh wait that's right these are the walmart file cards these are not hit and run and that's not rock and roll <laughs> 90 1990 vehicles i want to kind of see just kind of flipping through here star brigade 93 vehicles and take a peek here at the end i don't know if there's like a spoiler at the end that maybe i shouldn't show like at the end of the book you don't want to tell the end of the book okay so it does get into a little bit here of unreleased stuff i won't get into that too far but uh, there's the 30th anniversary 94 vehicles so unreleased there's this unreleased section hey we even got the 12 inch stuff it looks like the hall of fame hey unreleased i'll show you like this page so it's going to show you some of this stuff and talk about it and and lay out some of the art for some of these unreleased items but uh, don't want to show you everything. That's cool. I remember when G.I. Joe Extreme came out, I got this poster. It was like a six-foot-tall poster. That was really pretty cool. Um, it was just of this portion right there. Absolutely loved it. I might even still have it somewhere. Just love that poster death. I know it's for G.I. Joe Extreme. It's not a real American hero. But either way, I still really liked that poster. Flip in here. So some international-related stuff there. And then I think one of the coolest things is this right here. These are the backers. This is a list of backers that helped fund this book. And, you know, let's see. Yep. Kickstarter backers for helping shape. So this is actually not, actually, this is not everybody who backed it. This is only for this, I guess, the special group that paid a little bit more money that had the input. So it says for a complete list of Kickstarter backers, you can go to 3D Joe. So this is not actually everybody. I thought this would have been thought that would have been cool to actually include everybody that backed it, put money towards this book back here. But it looks like it was just the ones that backed at the little bit taller, higher level that gave some input into the book. So anyway, that is the art of G.I. Joe Omnibus Hardcover. I've shown you. I don't know, I've shown you some of it. Whoa, it's a heavy book. <laughs> It's a really heavy book showing you some of it and i hope you think this is a pretty cool deal i think it's a pretty cool deal i think it could be one of the best gi joe purchases somebody could make how much is it i honestly don't know or remember so yeah thank you for stopping by and watching if you found this interesting have a wonderful day i'll see you in the next video